Hello Modernauts and welcome to the grid kit introduction. Um, so what is this kit? This kit is um, a collection of particle operators tied together so you can control particles uh, in Modo in a manner of grid maze-like movement and then uh, convert it to curves or actually polylines and uh, make geometry from this and thanks to this make uh, illustrations or concept arts or animations like this way way easier the kit is very easy to set up as um, as there are example scenes so we can open the templates scene uh, but let's create it from from zero. So let's add assembly, let's add the emitter, and let's add TG optimizer. Okay, we all set. Um, almost. Okay, this mesh we will use later. Okay, let's close. Okay, so we need to connect those things to the particle simulations. But there is a script, we can create it for you. So select the assembly, click the top controller, and click automatic setup. All the connections and all the things will be created and connected for you. So you can now just hit play, and play with the settings. First of all, we need to compute the simulation. So, if we are happy with the, the look, we may want to compute this one node. Uh, if there is a, a lot of trailing particles and you don't want to use the trailing particles and you are just using this, uh, this simulation just for the view uh, how your curves will look like, uh, then you can just disable the simulation, the trails, and just compute the first one. Okay, so our particles now are computed, and now now we can uh, create some curves from this. Uh, if you have tracer ear, trace tracer X plugin. Uh, then you already know how to do this, uh, you just connect the grid simulation to the particle tracer uh, mashup. Uh, we will do this uh, like we don't own uh, a tracer X um, in modern native, native features. So, um, as you can see, the simulation node now has some additions here. First is clear the simulation cache and then there you there you have some commands um, which are in model and first is particle to mesh. We'll use this uh, thing. Okay, so we have instant curves. Uh, they are pretty, they are nice. They have one problem. Um, they have many 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 points. Uh, we can use those points for replicators or something else, but maybe we just want to use it uh, for something else. So we can use the TG optimizer. So let's check this out. We have TG optimizer and we need our mesh. Okay. So now connect this and this and you will see that we have only a few points. First of all, we need to compute the simulation. So if we are happy with the, the look, we may 
want to compute this one node. Uh, if there is a, a lot of trailing particles and you don't want to use the trailing particles and you are just using this uh, the simulation just for the view uh, how your curves will look like uh, then you can just disable this simulation the trails and just compute the first one okay so our particles now are computed and now now we can uh, create some curves from this uh, if you have Tracer, ear, trace, tracer X plugin, uh, then you already know how to do this. Uh, you just connect the grid simulation to the particle tracer uh, mashup. Uh, we will do this uh, like we don't own uh, a tracer X um, in model native native features. So, um, as you can see, the simulation node now have some additions here first is clear the simulation cache and then there you there you have some commands um, which are in model and first is particle to mesh we'll use this uh, thing okay so we have instant curves uh, they are pretty they're nice they have one problem um, they have many, many, many points. Um, we can use those points for replicators or something else, but maybe we just want to use it uh, for something else. So we can use the TG optimizer. So let's check this out. We have TG optimizer and we need our mesh okay so now connect this and this and you will see that we have only few points this is not arrow this is an option round corners and optimize points the corner points can add some additional uh, points to the corners um, the kit has a lot of options um, and I plan to add more um, but everything is documented so if you click here and go to the documentation page um, it's offline so uh, it's on your on your um, computer uh, you can read about the options um, and additionally uh, on the uh, this playlist this uh, YouTube channel uh, I will post uh, some workflow tips so um, yeah this is it have fun <laughs>